Hello ladies, long time no see. Uh, it's been almost a whole month since I uploaded my last video. And uh, oh my God, don't I have an update for you today. So before I go too far, I would like to say something about someone after I uploaded my last video. Well, I guess it's something everybody will find. You'll find that one person who would uh, make you go like, wow. So anyway, after I uploaded my video and uh, I have a lady who... Uh, was quite upset and uh, she left about 17 comments on my uh, video and she was, uh, as she stated it, pissed off. She was pissed off because she said that uh, she didn't think a woman would let a man make a decision for her, talking about me. So I felt very upset about all that because when I post my videos or when I comment on anybody's video, I always try to be as respectful as I possibly can. And uh, when I post my videos, I post them for people to comment because it's YouTube. I can uh, disable my comments. Nobody could comment. But uh, what's the point of that? So uh, I let people, you know, uh, uh, comment and uh, be as open as you want and uh, put your opinion uh, there because opinions matter. So anyway, I felt quite upset about it because um, she doesn't know me at all. She doesn't know my family. She doesn't know me on any level except for what I put out there. So uh, when I posted my video, I talked about how my husband was responded to me going uh, to IVF and I also put every details that I could possibly put like my husband's age and the reason why he didn't want me to go uh, for IVFs and my age and everything so I uh, hope that people would understand you know yes we are not 22 and the chances are we may not uh, get pregnant at the first uh, try and all that i don't want to go back there just to let you know that i was very upset with what the lady had to say so anyway let's move on guys today is march 21st and i have not had my period for two weeks i mean I, I was supposed to already have my period and start uh, and being on my uh, ovulation uh, phase, but um, I have not had my period for two whole weeks and I am not pregnant. How cruel is this? So uh, I had my period on uh, February 13th and uh, the first time ever since I was trying to conceive, I did not check for ovulation. Always, I check my uh, my temperature and I take ovulation tests. But this month, I gave because I uh, well literally gave up. I did not uh, use uh, ovulation tests. I have hundreds of them. I did not use them. I did not take my temperature. I stopped everything. So uh, I don't know if I ovulated or not. But my cycle today is thirty eight days. As I said it many times, I have a cycle of 24, 25, 26 days. And if I'm on uh, chromin or femera, I would have a cycle of maybe 29, 30 days, the most. So I am on cycle day 38 or 39 today, and I still have not had my period. And let me tell you, it is quite upsetting. I went to my doctor to... Um, see if she could help me so she did a procedure i think she didn't say what it was but i'm not stupid so uh i think she tried to break my um my uh uh uterus uh, lining my endometrium and she said to me that i was supposed to have my period that day that was last thursday and i still have not had a period 
So I have all kinds of cramping. My back is killing me. And um, I cannot stop eating. All the signs that will tell you that you might be pregnant. I took two pregnancy tests. I do not know why I did, but I did. And uh, they were negative. And I know some of you probably saying, maybe you are, maybe you never know, you could be. I am not because I did not do any baby dance at all. I, I've been so upset, so um, stressed about everything. And uh, we did not do any baby dance at all for the past month. So I uh, know... I, I'm not going to say 100% because who knows what can happen. But I know 99% chance that I am not pregnant. So anyway, I don't know what is going on. But I feel so stressed out about this. I don't know what to do anymore. Most of the days, my cervical mucus will be just like when I am ovulating, which is so strange because I have taken ovulation tests lately and they are negative, but I do not know what's going on. And you know what is so crazy about all this? I was just taking my shower and I saw my, um, what do they call it, the black line under your belly when you're pregnant, the um, uh, negro lining or whatever they call it. When you're pregnant, it's very, very dark. Mine disappeared after I had the kids for a while and then I looked at it today, it's a little bit darker. I don't know, maybe it's in my head, you know, but I am not crazy. I am not making this up because it's no it's not a good place to be i don't want to be in this position where i know if i had and of course i probably would thought maybe you never know even though my pregnancy tests are coming negative but when i went to see my doctor about it she had me to do um fsh test just to check to see if it is out of whack if it's completely off the rack it's like five, six hundred that will indicate that I am uh, going through my menopause. Could that be? In my family, people don't go through menopause until they are in their early 60s. So I am only 42. And when you go through your menopause, there is, there is a stage that is perimenopausal. You should start there. Your period will start lighter and lighter. It doesn't just happen in one day you wake up, you do not have your period. You will start having a period for two days and it will come in the middle of your cycle. That will indicate that you're coming very close to your uh, menopause. So I do not know what the freak is going on. And... Um, I don't know what to do. I already have been to my doctor and I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. So I'm just sitting here every day hoping that I'll see it come. I have a dull, dull pain on my uterus and going all the way to my uh, legs. I saw my doctor about it and I want to have my uh, uterus and uh, ovary checks for, uh, you know, cervical cancer and all that. I did my pap test not too long ago and I went for my pap test. This is TMI for you guys. And uh, that was, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. I went to see my doctor because I fell down there a little bit different than, than before. So I thought, could I be having some uh, problem like uh, they call that prolapse when uh, your uh, cervix come down a little bit lower because my cervix, your cervix should be, you know, when you're ovulating high and uh, medium when you, after your ovulation, you know, it's up high and low but when I bend down I can touch my cervix um, and I did not like that so I went just to check so I checked and uh, my doctor said it is not a prolapse it's simply something she explained to me but she said to me well while I'm down here why don't I do a pap test for you and the minute she opened me up and she said, oh, wow, there are uh, some changes. And oh my God, when a doctor say that to you, usually doctor would not say anything until they see whatever they see and they sent everything to the lab. And when they have the result, they will call you back so they can talk to you. But my doctor, she knows me. She knows how 
hands on I am on everything I want to know I want to uh, understand what's going on so the minute she said that I said what's going on why don't you tell me she said it's nothing it's nothing it's just your uh, um, cervix uh, looks different than it used to so I said how and uh, she said something I said you're talking doctor to me so she said it just the color is not pink it's a little white Usually, you know, anything, your organ, anything that's inside of you has to be pink because there's nice um, blood flow. Everything should be nice and pink. So my cervix was white. So she said to me not to worry because when you're trying to conceive and you're taking all kinds of uh, Clomid and Femera and all these things, it will change uh, things down there. So she said that's probably what it is. So I got my result for my pap test. I do not have any abnormality, nothing. My pap test came back. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with my cervix. And uh, last week she checked me again. She said everything is back to normal. So I was so worried. So I just wanted to say that uh, to you guys. If you've been trying for a while, you've been taking all kinds of uh, hormones, check with your doctors. Sometimes they don't really pay attention to that because you're so focusing on, uh, you know, trying to conceive, have uh, yourself check out. So I'm glad there's nothing wrong going on. So here it is, guys. This is what I'm going through. No period for the past two weeks, and I'm eating like a pig. Look at me. Look at the size of me. I am huge, and I'm going to blame it on it. I mean, I am 200 pounds. Holy shit. I have never been this weight since I was pregnant with my second child. I've been 150, 155. My max was 160 because I'm 5'9", almost 5'10". And uh, for the first time, I don't know if it's stress. I don't know if it's, I don't know. It could be a number of things that I, I, I just gaining, 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 gaining. And I have about 30, 35 pounds on me that I don't know what to do with. So anyway, this is where I'm at. I just wanted to let you know. And also, I will post a video about my adoption story. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks, ladies. And if you guys have heard of anybody or if you have had the same problem, your period disappeared on you and you weren't pregnant, please comment and please do not be pissed off at me, okay? Ciao.